Hi folks, after spending some amazing time at the Diocese of Tracer, I went on with my expedition and this time reached the Principality of Jean Michel, the lands of eternal cold. Alright, let's look at this board. I'm second player here. Mm, let's do this kingdom kingdom tap and some of this stuff. All right. Mm. So hey, we have a invest here. Invest is like I I have no freaking idea how to deal with that. <laughs> I only played like several games with it, and uh, yeah, I just I'm just I'm just not sure. Also, I kind of dislike it. Um, so he gets a silver. Looks reasonable. Mm. Courtier is good. Draw is quite strong. Uh, Trashion is um, well mint and exo, and exo is kind of. Think I think I want exo as an opening like. You usually do. Oh, he gets an exo. Well, it might be a pageant for me, but probably, probably a silver. I mean, what am I, what am I going to buy as a first five cost? I guess stables, right? Yeah, like silver is good. That's okay. This might be a pageant. It can also be an encampment, but. So Swashbuckler is gonna be nice. Gets a squire. <laughs> Do we have any attacks? We we don't, right? Yeah. So squire is basically just a plus buy. I don't think I'll need a plus buy like immediately. Yeah, let's just get pageant. I think it's it's gonna be oh hey, that's that's not good though. That's really sad. So my silver missed. Lost to a silver and copper, right? Well, good thing I, I'm gonna, I gonna get a exiles. Uh, I mean, he invests into stables. That would, I mean, on four I would probably do that, right? Because that you want stables, you want a lot of those. Um, do I get an encampment here? I think I do. Invest is. Gains. Oh, hmm. so lurker does not really help that. I'll get an encampment. This might be a mint for me. Yeah. I mean. Killing four coppers. Mint actually, I mean, you can you can turn it and uh, turn it into a ghost later. It's an ironmonger. I can also invest in something. I can also invest in st stables. I can just buy stables. Do I want? Oh yeah, by the way, I just realized the secret passage is kind of nice with the um, will wisps So they should be like quite good at some point, but probably uh, there is a lot of competition between that and ironmongers, so probably gonna be ironmongers most of the time. I think I'm gonna invest in stables. Uh, on the other hand, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. Whatever. Drew him a couple of cards. I don't know. It 
So I have this small advantage in uh, having the pageant. He gets a swashbuckler. Makes sense. Uh, do I want to trigger that? I, I guess I do. Well, Tom Deck the Sewer, this kind of sucks. Uh, so... Mm, this might be an Ironmonger. Or I can like invest an Ironmonger. I just get an Ironmonger. <clears throat> so I only have one estate left. Mm. I, I'm quite tempted to get a mint here. Quite tempted. Let's do that. All right. It's a nice Ironmonger review for him. Not a nice Willow Wisp though. So I still have three coppers, Ironmonger and another Wisp down there. And probably a Silver at this point is just uh, good for me. Yeah. Uh, I kind of, I would kind of like a plus by now, but uh, I don't know. Mm, maybe I'll just try and get this washbuckler now, and uh, next stop's gonna be Cartier. So right now I have this quite significant advantage in uh, in trashing. He has uh, he has more draw though because I, well, uh, yeah I don't have any swashbucklers. And this turn, depending on how I draw, I might might get a ghost or maybe I just ration a, a copper invest in swashbuckler hmm such a low move all right uh keep that Tom Dex a mint Tom Dex a sewer hmm whatever discard that I can I kind of need the uh, one of those either stables or swashbuckler. I mean, can't can't really skip that. What's the what's the best uh, courtier target here? Like Willow Wisp. Uh, what's Ghost is three actually. Ghost is good. So I might. Uh, it's a little bit sketchy because you know. I don't really have any draw, but I might get courtier and ghost here. I think I want to try and do that. Okay, that's really nice. That that kind of worked out. Because, yeah, I know I like draw, and it's bad, but by buying any kind of draw, I kind of help him quite significantly. So, I wonder if I maybe can... Uh, get some encampments this turn with uh, with a plus buy. Well, one encampment and something else. And then, because actually all my courtier would be the, the worst ghost target, I think. And uh, it's it's great that I I can uh, I have this courtier in hand already. So any other any other card uh, would be amazing. Uh, to play double, would it be Ironmonger or Willow Wisp or what else do I have? That that's it, right? 
Yeah. So my junk cards are still three coppers and two silvers. So yeah, I can turn and it would be a nice idea obviously to turn those um, silvers into wisps eventually. So let's see what we can draw. Uh, sure, discard that. Mm, and I still have uh, Willow Wisp on top, so that's great. All right. And Courtyard is going to be everything but the action. Gladly take the gold. Gonna trash the copper. I might just take two encampments. How about that? Probably. I probably want like a squire though. Is it is it really worth it to get a squire? I'm honestly I'm not sure, but I'll get it. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's a bit pity that I was not able to get uh, an imp this turn. But that's fine. I feel like it's kind of weird. My opponent has four smithies to my zero smithies, but I still feel like I'm kind of doing fine there because while my deck has a bit, well, less draw, it kind of it also has significantly less junk. So he really. Oh hey, he has the treasure chest now. That's that's good though. Yeah, indeed. Get a province, huh? Look at that. I don't like that. I think I can do better than than just a, you know province. Although, mm, yeah, having all the wow, th that was not a good wisp. Uh, having all the coffers and golds, kind of, it's kind of good for him, obviously. But uh sure, keep that. Discard that. And nice. So that's going to be coins and gold, I guess. I don't really need more buys, right? Yeah, coins and gold looks good. And I can draw the gold. Um, I don't need another ghost this turn i would i would like to get another ghost last turn it would be it would have been great to get a ghost previous turn but i didn't uh, so what now i mean i kind of want another encampment i don't necessarily need to give him cards although a swashbuckler would be obviously extremely not a beneficial addition to my deck. Mm. So maybe I do get one. Like Swashbuckler, Ironmonger, Encampment. <clears throat> mm. Alright, let's go for it. Or do I want another Squires? Mm. No. I think this with, with Swashbuckler, Swashbuckler, I'm gonna be able to steal the artifact from him the next turn. It is likely anyway. Uh, encampment, right? Yeah. I get an imp. Well, I mean. God damn it, that's bad. All right. Uh, do I want more gold or do I want coins? I can gain gold. Hmm, that's pretty bad. A 
Okay. Oh. Uh, get encampment and ghost here. I mean, I can get the bronze. I mean, yeah, I can get a bronze. How about that? I think it's not worth it. I think it's. I can also just trash a copper here. And get like another ironmonger or like another encampment. I think I like another encampment. Having golds is nice for encampment's sake. Well, it's it's not the biggest deal, but. So I'll take that and can yeah, okay, okay. He's gonna get another bronze here. He might get to double. It's not out of the question indeed. But I'd say it would be kinda hard for him to So yeah, he has two squires and well, okay, this might be double. Nope, not quite. Uh, in this case, he probably shouldn't spend his coffers because having the option of doubling, that's, you know, that can, I think that's like the only way I lose this game if he doubles at some point. And also, obviously, yeah, my last turn was like really bad, but I mean, so gets a couple of encampments there. That's certainly like really good for him. Uh, I bad thing is I don't think I have any more gold down there. Oh never mind. <laughs> Whatever. Don't listen to me. Uh so gold and that will give me the artifact um, and I just draw everything right what am I going to ghost in this case <laughs> well something hopefully all right let's uh, do it like that might as well keep the gold at uh, let's discard it. It might give me an extra coin, right? With the Ironmonger hit. Okay. Uh, let's draw that. Now reveal that. Buy coins. Gold. Done. Okay, and an extra gold from the chest. Mm, okay, I can triple. Mm, I probably don't want to triple. Yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Triple might be uh, an issue. I would rather double and mm, get something to ghost. Well, Probably the ideal would be to get double bronze ironmonger and get an imp. So either ironmonger or imp would be both amazing ghost targets. Um, if you can double, I'm in trouble, kinda. But maybe I, I, I'm, I'm still okay. I don't know. I, I definitely can't triple. Yeah, I think I like that. So, Imp is probably a better target than Ironmonger, right? So let's just Exo first and then Ghost. All right. Okay, looks looks good to me. It looks good to me. If he if he just gets a Bronze now, I'm in a really good shape. If he gets double, which he might be able to do, 
uh, then I actually am likely to lose. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe he like bottom decked all his swashbucklers. And also, uh, I mean, I can triple, right? Nope. Uh, there he goes, keeps drawing, and probably he just draws everything at this point. And that means double. I would expect anyway. And he must, he must have enough gold. I, out of this eight, I probably have like five, maybe. But maybe we, we both have four. Okay, he can't double. Well, unless unless he can. Oh my god, he can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then he should. <laughs> and how many swashbucklers did he play? I want to look. Okay, I. Let me see. So. He played both his encampments, and both his squires. And how many ironmongers? And all three of his wisps, and one ironmonger. So. Mm, Swashbuckler, swashbuckler. So he still has some draw down there. And probably has like a one ironmonger. Alright. I guess I would need to like hope that he can't draw really. Because I'll get what? Uh, I can get four buys maximum, right? And it, it ain't enough. Yeah. Damn it. I... Okay. Discard that. Kinda need to reveal... Definitely not actions with my Ironmongers. But uh, I can get another coffer now. I uh, need to leave one of the spirits for the courtier. Discard the gold, so maybe we can reveal it again. Let's actually add another one to increase this chance. Probably I, I would need a plus buy. Okay, that didn't work out, but whatever. Um. All right. Uh, I don't think I, I... I'm just going to kill the Cobra, right? Most likely. And four buys, I mean, I, I, I'm just going to take four dashes. Uh, isn't it... Uh, I mean, four dashes is sketchy, right? With the amount of, of draw that I have. Damn it. <clears throat> uh, I'll do that. Maybe like three dashes and Ironmonger would be better, but. Yeah, uh, it's, it's enough. All right. Damn it. Damn it. I. I think. Invest was it? I think he he played the like this invest thing like way better. Uh, anyways, so I should be a first player now. First player probably helped him quite some, and 
this one turn where I didn't draw closer to the end game kind of was slightly unlucky, but I can't really complain because my my draw was always on the weak side in this game. And that was a direct consequence of, you know, uh, invest. All right, um, Kingdom Tap. Cards and supply, okay, here it is, one page. Mm. What do we have here? <laughs> so, Trashen is upgrade and Transmog. Transmog does not really have great targets. That's not true. Cargo ship is great. Not not the targets, but the good free costs. Cargo ship is great. So it might be like Transmog, Cargo ship. Mm, that is... Yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. I'll go for that. And uh, it's likely enough to hit upgrade, I think. On second shuffle. So, don't have the whole lot of plus actions, but diplomats might be enough. And upgrade is a way to... Uh, reduce the hand size and oh never mind we have conclave right but you don't you don't need the whole lot of mm, plus actions but plane like you definitely want a cargo ship sandwich um me, if you if you can have like two slices of cargo ships in this sandwich that would be amazing like like so if you have like four total and can play two of those every turn that would be great. Uh, he buys an upgrade in Desperation. I'm not sure if it's worth it, to be honest. So, I need to figure out uh, how do I not get to 5 the next turn. So, worst case, worst case is that my next hand is Transmog Estate and three coppers, and I still want to hit five. No, uh, I just get an, uh, another cargo ship, right? That that's just the best option, yeah. No matter what, and it is the worst case. So, well, I mean, actually, it's not the worst case because I mean, obviously, it would be worse if. Transmog would miss, but it's just the worst, the least amount of money I can get in the turn. So, uh, just an upgrade, right? It must be better than anything else. So, um, I kind of want to play a cargo ship this turn, so we'll probably uh, end up transmogrifying this estate into cargo ship, just to guarantee it. He gets a lot of... I, I don't... Oh, gets dead. Well, I I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's transmog. I can transmog upgrade into Grand Market. I don't think it's it's worth it. All right. Um. Yeah, that's quite fine. Hmm. Ball for two destriers. That looks amazing. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with all the curses. It just upgrade is not the fastest treasure here, and 
getting more upgrades is really expensive here because ball for death races in and you know like for other cheaper cards it's such such a great thing here uh all right didn't draw the upgrade but i drew the cargo ship i might honestly i might get an upgrade here yeah let's just do it yep I should consider trashing my transmog into uh, um, into another upgrade or into maybe destrier because transmog is not the like the most mm, amazing card in my deck. I don't really want more cargo ships. I well also I'm I'm basically out of state so uh but I do still have one estate left right so I can turn like a state into sewer and then transmog into destrier mm. all right let's draw yeah estate is not here I've seen it before okay so won't be able to do that really mm. he's the proud owner on the of the only conclave yeah but it's fine okay let's just kill the copper oh uh, i might turn one of those cargo ships into a conclave how about that Or I can turn Transmog into an upgrade. <laughs> and get like what? Uh, I can ball for... Gain two cards. I wonder the if I can gain one and then Destroyer becomes cheaper and... Um, mm, then I can get Destroyer as well, or is it like an atomic operation? Uh, okay, let's let's kill the this one. Uh, I can also Desperation, but I so I'll get the Conclave. Okay, okay, continue, and I'll get the Destroyer. Okay, that looks good. So we both have three upgrades. I I'm I feel like I'm quite ahead here. He trashes a Destro for a Grand Market. I'm not so sure if that's good, because, uh, you know, it's like your only draw card. He can now Desperation and then ball for two more Destroyers, or just buy some Destro, all right. Mm. Let's get yet another cargo ship here. Kill the copper. Uh, I that's yeah, certainly no conclave, but yeah, it's fine. Definitely more cargo ships that cargo ships that I want at this point. Uh, I'll just get a conclave. And I'll just gladly take two more destroyers here. And I should be pretty much set for the next turn. Okay, yeah, that, that should be an easy win for me uh, from this point, unless I mess up with, the, with some kind of pile out. Um, 
I want to play the Conclave, right? Because, yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, let's play some Destriers. I feel like upgrading one of the upgrades into uh, upgrading one of the upgrades into Grand Market should be a great idea. So let's do that. Can I draw further? I can't. And also, I should have been playing this Conclave earlier. Okay, I messed up a little bit. Let's just say. Um, yep, but still, I have five testers, he will only have four uh, at best. Mm, and I think I might want to bronze here. Or do I just, am I afraid of him piling up? I'm slightly ahead in points. Uh, I can bowl for like another Conclave. Well, Conclave kind of sucks. <laughs> I really don't need another one. Uh, but I kind of want the Destrier, that's the thing. All right, yeah, let's go for it. Let's bowl for, do I, do I think Diplomat is worth it? Probably isn't. Oh, whatever, let's get a Conclave, because I can cargo ship it. Yeah, I don't think he can pile. I don't think it's even close. And he's still, he, yeah, he's behind in points. Seven cards in the pile, yeah, it's, he can't do it. He can't really do it. And, um, yeah, I should be fine. I, on the other hand, might be able to do it, given the... Well, I only have two upgrades left, right? But... Um, well, let's just see how I'm going to draw. Maybe I'll be able to chain some of those upgrades into more upgrades. Mm. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Oh, hey, he just buys an upgrade. Okay, that should be doable. That should be. So what's the plan? I would only need to double to buy. I would only need eight coins, which should be like really easy to buy the cargo ships, and I should be able to upgrade uh, stuff into upgrades. Yeah, let's just go for it. So conclave, the destriers. Um, don't play the last destrier yet. Uh, I don't need more. Do it like that. Another. Another upgrade down there. I would need to play this Destrier. So. Yeah. All right. That worked out perfectly. Um, I don't, uh, I don't benefit from playing more of those upgrades. Yeah. Just, uh, cargo ship and bowl for two more. All right. Yeah. So here I think it was uh, first player advantage, definitely. I kind of I was ahead from the start, but also I don't I really don't like his early desperations. 
it's like I think it slowed slowed him down significantly. All right, let's let's move on with the, uh, to to this one. That's a lot of attacks. Margrave, which swamp hack minion, but lighthouse. All right, thank God. Mm. Wow, all this stuff is really freaking expensive here. Would you look at that? I hope he doesn't have a five two. I'll get a lighthouse, sure. Mm. And probably a second light. Yeah, that's. It feels like the board where you really need a lot of freaking lighthouses. Uh, let's get another one. I like this opening. Yeah, I mean, you hit less than five, you get a lighthouse, right? And um, god damn it! Uh, if he hits five here, I'm in trouble. But he didn't. All right. And I, ah, okay, next turn, next turn, I'm gonna hit five. Um, get some minion. Really, of all the things, you want the minion. I'll probably get an artisan here. Hmm. I would kind of. I would kind of think, it is possible here to do the scary mega turn thing, kind of. You know, like with Mastermind and and whatnot, I wouldn't like Mastermind. Uh, Mastermind in a lighthouse is just not very impressive. I think you want like Margrave. Sculptor is not. Sculptor just isn't very good here. I mean, it still is right because having like a villager could make a huge difference for this kind of deck. But I don't know. I feel like Margrave is just more important uh, do I want a second artisan mm, I think so let's let's try and go for it Uh, I didn't hit five. Well, I have options. I can, I mean, obviously I can top deck, I can gain a mastermind and top deck it. I can also gain a sculptor because right now I'm over turn old. And I can gain a sculptor and um, get this villager. Might be worth it. Stop that the copper. And get the mastermind. All right. So, I, I'm not going to be protected this turn, that's funny.
I'll just top deck the Morgrave, right? Oh, uh, he's going to... Did he see his minion this shuffle already? Uh, he might he might be able to attack me. Oh, that's damn it. Why no lighthouse? All right mm, Still I think it's my best bet to top deck the Margrave. Oh wait a second actually I Probably want a silver And just get another mastermind Oh my god, if he's go <laughs> if he's going to minion attack me, which is which is quite likely to be honest. I think he has he must have it in hand. Oof. Alright. That would have been a disaster. I need to ban me. I need to add minion into my ban list. I hate this card. Mm, probably just going to draw like oh hey and he doesn't have the protection this time nice nasty huh well I mean Margrave does not hurt him all that much right with the uh, given that he has some minions Minions kind of makes Margrave attack. It, you know, Margrave attack never stacked good, even without minions. But uh, with minions, it just makes it even less of an attack, you know. All right, that looks quite easy for me. Now. Yeah, top deck this Margrave, don't trigger, uh, get a bank. Mm, do I care about getting a bank? I think it should be good. I think it should be good. Right. Well, sadly, not the whole lot I can do here. Um, so I'll probably get another silver and play this mastermind and just see what happens. Uh, there must be another artisan down there in the necro, so I might be able to do something at least. All right, let's get the silver, play this mastermind. And kind of want like, probably I just want more of those five costs. Hmm. Because it basically is just lining it all up together. Maybe like one minion for because it's non terminal. Probably sculptor is just better for this purpose. Or more. Oh, damn it. I don't know, it's complicated. No, let's just get more masterminds and uh, Margraves. So, yeah, this deck is 
it's always going to be a bit messy. Well, unless unless it isn't. Uh, yeah, unless there is like one this one turn where you just pretty much draw everything and uh, set up the next turn in a way that you you draw everything the next turn too. So that's that's a, that's his good turn. Uh, it's a bit awkward. Eleven is a bit awkward. You, I think you want the bank here pretty much. Bank is like the best source of economy, but. Yeah, he just goes for two five cost. That that makes sense as well. So what the hell am I going to do with this mm, kind of thing? Uh, I can mastermind the necro, and then try and draw with the margrave. Or I can my or or I can mastermind the artisan, which you obviously may kind of makes more sense but the problem is um i'm not protected well that's not the biggest problem the biggest problem is i mean if i'm going to get like three cards like say two masterminds and minion he has a very good setup for the next turn well maybe he doesn't because he well he didn't set up, set it up you know he didn't set up his next turn Hmm. Let's go for it. Yeah. And the sculptor. Or should it be a duchy? Actually. It is very likely that he kills my next hand, so I can just... Or should I like top deck a minion in case... In ca so in case he's, he stalls, in case he doesn't have anything, uh, any minions in this hand, which is possible. Well, hey, actually, is it possible? I should I should be able to check it. All right, let's do it. Let's let's check it. So he just bought a minion. So one of those is in his discard. Uh, hmm. All right, let's let's do it like that. Uh, do I want to get an estate? If he has like two artisans in hand, he already he already just wins. Uh, I don't know. All right, here is one. If he can only mastermind one artisan, then it's not the biggest. I should have been buying this freaking estate. Oh my god, he's going to pile on me. Oh my god, that's so bad. I I felt all right. That that at least looks good, right? That that at least looks good. If I if I gonna have a turn, if I gonna have a turn, that's gonna be a. Uh, let's kill the lighthouse probably. Uh, all the no, I will only have one turn. If I will have a turn, it will only be one turn. So I'll just discard this mastermind. Uh but I don't think he has enough. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna. Leave another day. Mm, definitely a Margrave. <clears throat> so.
So. If I'm going to do it, how I'm going to do it? Like, I can triple artisan, get three Margraves. But then I'm in trouble because I don't have any actions, I I lose. Yeah, I I'll only be able to buy that. Yeah, that's not good. I can triple the Margrave. And then what? Then I don't have an I can triple the sculptor. That'll give me a lot of actions and economy. Then I can draw more and see what I can do. I think that's the best. Must be the best. Oh. Uh, All right, here is the bank. I'm starting to like my chances. So I just need to draw more. Hmm. That, he doesn't have any, okay, he actually, his position kind of sucks right now. Is that true? It is true. If I can just like double bronze, he can't really do anything to me. Like, for example, hmm, if I artisan a dashi, top deck the Margrave play a mastermind and buy double bronze here, how about that? I mean, uh, can I? Is it is it a thing for me to pilot out this turn? Let's let's try and calm that. I would need so to buy two Margraves, Bronze, and probably a Duchy. Uh, that's four buys. No, it's two states is cheaper. So, Mar uh, two Margraves, Bronze, and two states. That's like ten, fourteen, mm, and eight, twenty-two. So, hmm, uh, so that means uh, I have five plus eight, that's like 13, and six more, that's 19. So I kind of need, if I draw like, Anything that's better than two coppers. Mm. Um, no, anything's better than one copper, but do I have it now? Let's count again. Um, so uh, that's... Um, Seven. Uh, oh my god, I'm so so bad at that. All right, seven uh, treasure cards. Oh hey, bank bent counts itself, right? So it's eight treasure cards. I think I have it. Uh, eight treasure cards. Uh, whatever. Let's just. <laughs> it must be enough. One, two, three. Duchy state, whatever. Yeah. All right. Going to be the first player now. Um, so that's going to be game number four. And I won two out of three. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. So what's in here? The only tradition is Sona, which is not exactly true because we also have Taxman and Mine, but they have have a problem. They suck. Uh, Kingdom. 
uh, here it is. Mm. So you can build with the um, Sona, Avanta as a village, Snow Village is a village, Droids, uh, Imps, uh, Caravans, Cavalries, Avantos. Uh, there is quite some payload between Baron and Spices. Yeah. Mm. So how do I want to open? Because sound I want is not, it's kind of like really slow. Mm. I can do something like sewer. Okay, I definitely want a sewer, right? That's, that's, that's like a given. It gets a sauna. I can do workshop. I mean, sauna sewer. If if you collide your sauna with a sewer, you're just in a great shape. And if you don't, I think this worship should be like really good. Yeah, whatever. I'll just I'll just go for that. And spices here, or I can or I can calorie. All right, so that's less than ideal because I mean, I'll get the gold, but I kind of wanted the sauna to be honest. Get some mine. Why? Well, okay, okay, I guess you can mine your sewers into spices, but I, you know, I, I, I don't like it. Uh, let's just get the the gold. I mean, it's fine. I, I definitely want a couple of saunas. Mm. How sad are you if you only get one sauna? I'm not like too sad, but you probably want a couple. All right, that's gonna be an imp. He can trash. He can trash two cards. Well, thankfully both coppers. Uh, and buys. Let's get an imp. God damn it, that's a lot of money. He gets another sauna. I don't need to. I can get another calorie here and see what happens. Don't play the sewers since I might draw the sauna. All right, nice. That's that was a good a freaking idea. Oh yeah, uh, I have my two saunas. I don't care. He can take the third one. Um, actually, in fact, I uh, I mean. Given I have this hand, I'm gonna be thankful if he uh, gets a third sauna here. <clears throat> but no, he gets spices, which is reasonable. Um, by the way, Jean Michel is is from Finland, as far as I remember. He, uh, so the concept of sauna and Avanto both must be like really familiar to him. <laughs> it's not like it's super unfam unfamiliar unfamiliar for me, but uh, anyway, he must be even his culture must be even closer to this kind of thing because uh, it's uh, originated in Finland as far as I know. So he has no calories, he has no imps. I feel like I like my position. His only advantage right now is that he's slightly better trashed. Well, actually he's quite significantly better trashed. Do I want to trigger that? Yeah, why not? Um, by the way, imps and horses, 
they are good friends. Um, sadly, no sauna here. Do I want to? Yeah, I do. Just gallery, right? All right. Well, that's much better. Uh, I can do sauna I want to know. It looks it looks quite good to me. It's gonna be the first one to get the Avanto. Yeah, it's fine. And yeah, I, I I'm doing good. He has more spices, I think. Uh, is it even true? <clears throat> Do I want another gallery? That's a lot of calories. On the other hand, I don't really, I don't really need to use the terminal space uh, in any other way. Mm, let's go for a one two. Yeah, nice. Oh. Nice. Mm. I should undo that. Because I definitely want to get uh two Avantos. Alright, so now, now I have three saunas and three Avantos, and that's great. That's like um, a huge advantage. And given that I also have like a whole bunch of horses, well, two at the moment, um, and a whole bunch of imps, yeah, I, I shouldn't be doing great. So yeah, this mine was very, very peculiar to me. I, you know, I might imagine if at some point if early game you uh, you was you were hitting three coins a lot of times, and then you kind of want to, and so you ended up having a lot of silvers, like three silvers for example, and then maybe picking up mine to turn those silvers into spices, and maybe then spices into spices. It's it's kind of it, it might be worth it. It's, it might be not the best, the worst idea, but. Getting it early, I I don't I don't dig it. I don't understand why you want to do that. But also, yeah, not getting calories, not getting those worships, I think is not not good. But what do I know? I might you know, he definitely has like more economy maybe. Um. Uh, Should I try and... <clears throat> Should I try and maybe uh, get the calorie? I, yep, I think so. I think it increases my chance. I, I don't need this many calories, definitely. But I think I need to increase my chances of drawing the Avanto. Yeah, that's a little bit sketchy, but whatever. Sauna first. Uh, yeah, that's quite sad. Mm, snowy village now, probably. The bad thing is no saunas in those next 
cards. That's that's actually not not good. I'll get the snowy, but uh, I might still be able to draw through because uh, for the uh, horses, two of them. He might be just getting a bronze here. Yeah. <laughs> all right all right now now we are doing it so yeah okay now now that's gonna be a, a good a good turn Don't need to play this sauna. All right. Uh, so I have a lot of draw. My deck is my deck should be quite quite good at this point. Uh, what's next? How do I increase my economy ASAP? Probably I don't need this many calories. I just trash this one. Coppers are probably better. Mm, I can do spices. Is Explorer worth it? Uh, it's hard for me to believe that it is. I can do spices silver. Probably the best I can do. Explorer, I mean, I will always want, I would always prefer to play another calorie, I think, to Explorer. Actually, he's not trying, he isn't all that clean. Probably turns uh, silver into spices here. Files are actually kind of low, but not not too low. I just need to be aware of his mind, actually, so he can uh, get more spices mid-turn. But still, four, four calories is is a lot of calories to to pile. You can. You can uh, do like end end actions, then buy some spices, then buy cavalry, like draw spices. But still, it's uh, gets another bronze here. I would assume maybe double. I I wouldn't really want to double here. just takes more spices I would expect mm, he he still has oh wait a second he doesn't have anything he played sauna I want to I want to oh never mind he still has sauna in in this hand so let's see all right where are my imps where is my all my stuff uh, here is some of my stuff. Mm, I'll just play all the horses, it's fine. Uh, all right. Sauna, I want to, sauna, I want to, sauna. Where is the last one? Right here. Mm. Gallery. Uh, 
course. No, gallery. No, I only want to draw one card, so I ain't gonna play this imp. All right, one. Maybe there was some play where I could like gain and play something, but I'm not sure. At this point, I'm not even sure I, I want to trash. Uh, because I'm extremely likely to draw the next turn. I have 15 horses, three of them on top of the deck. Yeah. So is it just double primes for me? Uh, or... Do I want like an explorer? That would be the an option indeed. Mm, obviously, there is something to be said in regards of getting an explorer. Then you might just want the gold, or like probably I I, I ain't gonna take spices because it might be too risky. Mm, okay, what if I? Let's see what happens if if I take double now. Prices are at four. He can. Mm. If he doubles, I kind of win. If he takes one. Okay, what if I take one prince? So I'm behind. If he doubles, then prices are at three. And. So if I take a prince, I'll take. Uh, Bronze and I can get like Explorer and Sewer. Bronze, Explorer and Sewer. And then that mean, that would mean I can triple. Is that so? Uh, 18 plus 2, that's... Mm, no, I'll be 1. Hmm. So Explorer does not give me triple. Explorer, Sewer, Bronze. Uh, his turn might suck a lot. I don't know. I'll try. I'll try and do it this way. Oh, uh, actually, <clears throat> I'll get. I'll get a copper. If I counted everything correctly, I can now triple. It's not like it would be a good idea. Oh, no, I, I miscounted. He doesn't even get a sauna. But, oh, hey, he can obviously, yeah, yeah, calorie, whatever. He can still draw. Never mind, he can't. Maybe he still can. Never mind, he can't. Maybe now he can. Oh my god, is he... Is he going to pile on me? I... I don't think he'll have enough money now. He might. Oh my god. Oh god damn it, freaking mine. He's going to pile on me. Oh god damn it. Was was there anything I could have done there? If I would What if I double? What if I double? I still lose, right? Yeah. All right. Nicely played by him. He stole he stole this game from me. Mm. Maybe I maybe that means I should have been green one turn earlier. I don't know. All right. But, uh, but yeah, maybe maybe I kind of overbuilt slightly. 
<laughs> okay, so it's um, we are tied now. It's two two. Okay. So we do have inheritance in here. Mm. Given we have the Baker token. Might be a thing. So is tactician, uh, yeah, let's look at the kingdom thingy. That's pretty much it. And we also have an emporium. Uh, he gets the loan. Um, so the thing is, with the tactician is not a thing here, I would say. It's just too slow because there is platinum. You you want the platinum. You know, it's it's not worth it. I would think. Maybe it's maybe it's worth it like on the last turn so to have the two buys and whatnot. Um Also Tactician does not really play all that nicely with the chair races deck because you just draw the whole deck and you don't have anything to reveal. Uh I'm I'm just trying to figure out whether inheritance is actually worth it at all or not. Because we ain't gonna have a plus buy, so buying those estates is not like the best thing to do. And also research can take care of the estates that I have quite easily. And I I don't think it's worth it to make my opening especially suitable to inheritance for inheritance. I'm just gonna get a loan and research. It's the most meaningful opening here, I think. And I ain't gonna let the presence of inheritance to mess up with me. He gets a tactician. Well, okay, I, I can I can see this point. Right? Tactician actually lets you uh that's not a oh hey, and if you yeah he has a good chance of doing it now. Uh I'll just get a uh, chair here, I think. I still have a good chance of making it the next turn. And it's totally okay with me if I'm gonna have one estate less. I mean, what I go, yeah, you can inherit the cherry races. Still, it's just having those estates is actually bad for your cherry races because revealing them, you know, they're quite cheap. Mm. All right. Set aside a copper on the state. So. My next hand is what, like, a state, chair, race, and three copper, well, two coppers in the loan. So it's like, mm, it probably ain't gonna be enough. Maybe if I get the sewer, it will be enough. Let's get a sewer. I will have a chance in this case. Um, but top deck is copper, sadly. So it ain't gonna work. <clears throat> I might consider not playing this Jared race. Mm. So I've trashed one cover, so that means I still have three left. So this four cars is uh, one copper, which is on top, and 
uh, three coppers, one of them is on top, and a silver. Uh, I'll risk it. All right. So, yeah, if I would reveal a silver, I would get there. So what now? Uh, probably one of the five, either baker or treasure. Baker is better, right? I can also do with gold. Gold is great. Uh, yeah, give me the gold. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that chair races should be like the the strategy here. They're kind of like a nice addition to your mostly just not points, but economy rather, right? I would look at them on the on, on this board. I would look at them as uh, as like the peddlers that sometimes going to work because. Uh, the points you're gonna get from colonies are gonna be way more, and um, mm, yeah, just buying. I would I would totally have a deck full of platinum rather than a deck full of chariot uh, races. What's uh, what do I have on top? An estate. It's probably better than my average card. All right, uh, let's research this one. Nice. Mm, I can inherit now for whatever it's worth. I probably don't want to. Yeah. Mm. I can get like a hideout. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't care about inheritance. Whatever. I'll. I'll get a baker probably. And um, see what comes. My top deck is a silver. Damn it. Well, it's fine. I don't want to have this gold in hand, actually. So I'll just discard it. Um, I might inherit now. I don't know. Like, what are my alternatives? I can inherit Patrician probably. It, but Patrician is probably better to have than Cherry Race, right? Given the cards going to be quite expensive, most of them. Yeah, whatever. Okay, nice. I have a gold on top. That's very good. Um, am I getting up to platinum? Uh, probably I, I'm getting up to platinum. So that's great. Did I still, when the first time I hit seven, did I still have two estates? No, I just trashed. I don't know, maybe inheriting earlier was better, but just because of very limited gains. It's not like I inherited because I'm going to get all the estates now. I, I maybe will buy like one at some point and I'm not even sure about that. All right, here is another copper. Surely get the platinum. This hand sucks. Mostly because this loan is very likely to... Oh, hey, but top deck in the platinum is amazing. This loan is most likely to hit something that I don't want to hit. Mm, he should spend some coffers here. 
just because gains are so valuable. Probably just get another estate. Or like a patrician. Uh, do I want the sewer? No, let's trash it. Sewer sucks. Uh, let's get another platinum. Coppers on top. Uh, he got a lot of juice out of this copper. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Mm. Maybe, just maybe, I'm totally misreading this board. And you do want like this tactician with cantrips kind of setup. But I think it's very slow. And yeah, I mean, you need maybe maybe he's doing it better just because he's kind of mixing. Uh, damn it, copper on top. That sucks. Uh, I'll just kill the copper here, right? Yeah. Mm. Do I want the tactician here? <laughs> the problem is. Yeah, it, it's going to be really hard to find a moment where you really want to play it. It's always, you know, every time you're going to play it, you always going to, it, it always going to suck. You're always going to discard a bunch of treasures and whatnot. Mm. Is it worth it? I only have one baker, so... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'll I'll say no to it. So my my hope now is that I kind of gonna try and invest more in more expensive cards, and then yeah, he's going to have more of his very cheap cherry races, but they aren't gonna hit. They are not supposed to hit all that, the whole lot, you know. Mm, research. Well, oh, I can kill the loan at this point. Never liked it anyway. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I only have three coppers left, so yeah, it's good. Uh, is that a colony? Because it might be a colony time. What? What is my deck? Like three coppers, gold, two platinum. Uh, a couple of bakers, a patrician chair race, research. Might be another platinum. Let's do with the colony. Yeah, it's like I don't really see what tactician gives you. It yeah, it gives you like a really maybe like a really good turn, but you're sacrificing your previous turn and kind of you just don't do the whole lot on this previous turn, right? You don't buy the whole lot. You can you can maybe like spend a couple of coffers and buy another estate, but it, you know it, it just doesn't do the whole lot for you this estate. And then you still probably won't have enough money to double colony. All right. Uh, well, maybe I played it in a bad order. But whatever. Yeah, but it looks like uh, I'm doing good here. Hmm. Do I research gold or do I research copper? Mm. 
I think I just researched this gold and I'm kind of guaranteed to hit the next turn. What's my... Okay, and I, I, I don't deck platinum, that's great. So I'm very likely to, to hit with this guy. So he plays a tactician now. Alright. So he'll be able to double maybe next turn. But it's fine. I have a Platinum on top deck. Nothing like Colony Browns, yeah. Uh, now let me see, so uh, sadly I can't really just research, I, ne I need to play this banker, right? I want, yeah, I want to buy the colony and I, yeah, okay, so I'm playing the baker. Now I have an option of researching the platinum. Mm, is that good? Uh, it is great. It is great because then I don't have any deck left, right? Um, how many? Platinum do I have? I have Oh, uh, okay. Let's let's think about it. So the idea of uh researching this platinum is um, he ain't gonna be able to score any with cherry races because I don't I won't be able any cards to reveal. Uh do I, the the only problem might be do I will I have enough money left for the next turn? So I have what uh like I do I do still have the no I don't have the gold left. Silver is also gone. Loan is gone. I think I still have three coppers and I will only have one platinum. So like platinum, three coppers, that's like eight, and then two bakers. Uh do I Okay, let's Yeah. Oh, wait a second. I can just trash the colony, right? I can research the colony. Uh, then I'll have enough money. And um, I'll I'll still be ahead. Oh, no. Never mind. Hey, yeah, that won't work. That won't work. God damn it. Hmm. Let's do it like that. One of those three, the copper. Okay, I are you a platinum? It should work then. It should work. Uh, one of those is a copper, so I'd better play the baker first. All right. Okay, nice. Nice. Um, and uh, that was his first first player. 
a game, so that's that's good. And here's the last one. Here's the kingdom tab. Have uh, boons here. <clears throat> yeah. All right. <coughs> So, mm, there is a recruiter for actions. There is rebuild with the rogue. Uh, there is something to consider. But, Honestly, I think it's just too strong of a kingdom to do a rebuild. Even, you know, a rogue is good with a rebuild, but with the recruit, uh, recruiter gives you a recruiter, you can feed recruiters with delve, and you can then, hmm, you know, get a lot of stuff with tragic heroes. Yeah, you, you kind of, I think you open like delve lackeys and then get more likeies, you know, it's just, uh, just like it, right, yeah, then get the recruiter, forge might be good, like, yeah, I, I definitely don't want to play rebuild here, Recruiter for me. Mm. Let's, let's just keep doing that. A guide might be well. I kind of want a guide at least. And um, gets a tragic hero. Uh, I want a recruiter before I, I do that. Let's draw and get another one. All right. Yeah, but yeah, okay, so he was already able to trash this tragic hero. Um, I'm not sure you want the idols here. Mm. Cursing ain't gonna be a biggest deal, and boons, like, well, they're good, but uh, I don't know. So yeah, I agree with not taking the idol. Uh... Okay, here is my second recruiter. Uh, Delve. Do I want the forge? Mm, I mean, forge is gonna be good to kill this state, but I'd rather just get the tragic hero. All right, that's that's a great draw. Uh, let's probably play the... Well, I'm going to trash some of those coppers, no matter what. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Didn't find the tragic hero. Damn it. Another recruiter, maybe. Oh, it's a bit sketchy. Uh, I mean, getting another tragic cure is a bit sketchy right now, right? Because, well, for obvious reasons, I don't have the whole lot of villagers. Maybe I should have been trashing one of the sewers, but then again, coppers are so terrible. So let's get another recruiter. A rogue, well, yeah, a rogue, I guess, yeah, tragic hero, rogue is good. I didn't see that. It will never attack, because uh, trash is going to be full of sewers pretty soon. 
All right, Lycus first. Uh, treasure hero, get the gold. Kill the copper, kill the silver. And... Just kill the copper and draw. Kill the Lycus and draw, kill the Lycus and draw, I like that. Okay, so another treasure hero, delve. Delve another recruiter or just a rogue. A rogue is better. Probably. Yeah, you kind of want that. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> would you look at that? That's a lot of sewers. I mean, who would have thought? I only delved like 10 times in this game. Hmm, maybe I don't need to delve this much. Hmm. <clears throat> How does Forge help me? For Forge, you know, I will always have a lot of silvers and five costs. So actually, Forge can be like investing in, in the Broyans. But before that, you can't really make a good use of those sewers, right? All right, how about a bit more sewers? I don't think I have enough. Mm, probably just a treasure cure, or it can be a rogue. Probably just a treasure cure, though. Down to... Uh. All right. Yeah, that was a kind of really bad draw for me to draw all the sewers. Uh, it kind of let him to catch up a little bit. I'll still, you know, I still kind of like my position because I have three recruiters to his two, and that's that might be a big deal. Mm, because getting rid of those coppers uh is a really is a big deal I, I would think gets another rock uh yeah more rocks is great but uh let's do it this way um kind of need to kill a sewer here. Can I really trigger that? Um, I can, right? I can if I add another tragic hero here. Mm, do I maybe kill a gold? No recruiters down there. Yeah, let's kill the gold. All right, it's fine. So the next hand is going to have the trash hero, so I'm doing fine. Mm. I might get something like Bronze Forge. Uh, I kind of like his second rock, though. So I can... Do I really want the forge? Forge is kind of a bit weird. I can get something like tragic hero rogue. To be honest, it might be just better. Let's just delve a little bit, like just to. Oh right, I, I had two tragic heroes there. I. It's fine. Okay, I, I I'm going to draw a lot. All right, all right. 
He didn't draw. Okay, that's great. So now I'm ahead in trashing. Is the true? Well, a little bit ahead in trashing. I have a lot of villagers. I have more treasure cures. I should be doing great. Well, he now has more treasure cures. Um, let's get the gold. Record the sewer. Let's get the gold. Get you guys back. Recruit the silver, recruit the copper. Okay. And now that's a lot of money. So. Do I do I just go for like triple or do I build another turn? I think I need to do something in between. Uh, I want a rock. And I can do like double province fleet. Let's do it. So I ended up getting no forge. And I'm not quite sure if it's good to not have a forge. Probably probably having a forge is better than not having a forge. The good thing is I'm ahead in trashing. And yeah, and I'm I'm just ahead. I'm just ahead at this point. Uh, like is first. Mm, probably. Okay, here's the recruiter, so I'm good. Let's get the gold. Recruit the gold. Tragedy, tragic here. A lot of tragedy. A lot of tragedy here. Kill the. Uh, let's sneak another copper trash in. Probably. Yeah. Okay, that's... Well, it's okay, because I I still have... I have a recruiter on top. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fine. Uh, I'll just take triple here, right? You don't care about the pile out exactly because because of the fleet. Um, this hand doesn't look good though, and he's having a uh, really big turn, so he should like go full uh, full full in. And I need to hope to draw. Uh, I don't care about playing the rogue now. Yeah, let's just kill it. All right. All right. We are doing it. Mm, that enough for triple duchy? Yeah. It's good enough for me. One, two, three. All right. That's good enough. He would need... Well, let's just say he would need more than he can have. So that should be a GG. You can't trash my dashes or anything, yeah. Alright, so that's it apparently. GG's. And hooray, finally a match won in this season. <laughs> so yeah, I have a 4-2 here. So nice. Uh, Alright, gonna see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.